Hey YouTube, wanted to show this off real quick. This is my Panasonic CF29 Tough Book. I've got Fedora running on here now. About the only operating system other than XP that would actually run on this thing with the memory it's got. It's got 512. Um, the CF29, these came out I think in like 2004 or so. Um, just going to run through a little bit on it real quick. It's, it's an older one, but I picked it up for free because my friend had it and he saw a video about holding it under the sink and so he tried that and well the screen backlight went out opened it up it was an inverter board where's the old one I don't have the old over here okay anyway it fried the inverter board out on it so I ordered a new one of those from um, ThinkPad or not ThinkPad Toughbook Parts Store online uh, Bob Johnson's is what it's called for like seven dollars it was like 17 shipped so put that in it was real easy to get to you just take these screws out everything with these everything with the little star torque screws there's two screws that, or there's four screws to hold this cover on two screws there you take these four off and the back of this case comes off and you can take it out the it's got two little antennas for your internet wireless internet also it's pretty well sealed it's not waterproof it's water resistant here's your CD drive it's got little o-ring gaskets in there just pop out drive you can also get a take that drive out and put extra backup power in there your hard drive actually this is not the hard drive it's the it's your power pack or your battery hard drives over here Obviously can't pull it out. I don't want to pull it out there running, but that's it. It's got a heater in it. Actually, in the hard drive caddy, you can see the actual aluminum caddy. The hard drive is just a thin standard laptop, 2.5. You got your SD card slots over here, or SD card and CF, or not CF, um, PCMCIA cards in there. You got Ethernet and uh, I think a 56k dial-up modem, uh, USB. I think it might be 2.0. Got your power. And on the back, there's. Let me slide this open. It's your docking connector if you have the docking station. I may get one someday. I don't have it. But. Here's your headphone. There's another USB. Audio in. VGA external. Printer or serial. Or actually, it's they're just parallel. Standard printer parallel. And there's your serial. RS232. Pretty cool machine. I, he gave it to me because he had ruined it. He's like, if you can get it fixed, cool, just keep it. Um, just because you can see the screen works. I tried Ubuntu. I tried Kubuntu with KDE desktop. I tried Linux Mint. Um, I tried Windows 7. That was slow as all get up. Uh, XP actually works, that's what it was designed for, but who wants to use XP anymore? And what the problem was with any of the Debian operating systems like Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Linux Mint, um, what else did I use? Ubu uh, Ubuntu with XFCE, you'd close it, the screen shuts off like it's supposed to, you open it back up, and it would be stuck in suspend mode. Oh boy, it just did it right there. And I had that happen with this one. But yeah, that's that's what it did, and it just did it there. Oh. Isn't that just lovely? So yeah, I've been using it and updating it, and uh, Fedora actually runs pretty good on it. Other than that, that's kind of concerning. Okay, well, there's something to figure out, and... The real cool part is when I had Ubuntu on there, I asked a question about this on the forums and no one even replied and it got over 200 views and no one even said anything and I just wanted to really make a comment on there being like, hey, thanks for all the help, guys. I mean, I don't know what's causing it, so obviously it was a legit question. I searched and searched on the net, couldn't find anything, but when they do that on forums, it always pisses me off, but oh well. And we'll just power it down all the way like that. Something to do with the display settings, I guess. It's set to. Oh, I did change some of the 
power saving. That might be it. I'll have to go back and change that back. That's probably what it is. It's got a Centrino in it. So yeah. Not bad for 17 and I think the the battery pack was 30. It's the original Panasonic, which is actually made in Japan as instead of like China or whatever. Standard laptop batteries, if they're made in China or Taiwan, you can really get the aftermarket ones and it'll be the same thing because there's only a handful of factories over there that turn out the batteries. And a lot of the factories produce the same things aftermarket as they do for the OEMs. But this one is different because it's actually a Japanese battery. I think it's probably higher quality than even the OEM batteries of other laptops. So it's a, a, a used secondhand battery and it holds a charge for two or three hours. So I'm impressed with it. Thanks for watching. I'll figure this out. Why oh, it's doing that? I think it just I think it's one of the settings I changed because I think I know what I did, so. Thanks for watching.